Now to Ian Thau's day in court. The disgraced former financial advisor has been sentenced to nine years in prison for fraud. His unabashed greed and his rampant sense of entitlement, as the judge put it, earned him a longer prison sentence than even the Crown was seeking. Seven years was the term in his plea bargain when he pleaded guilty Monday to 20 counts of fraud. But the judge said today that she saw no remorse and said that the law could not undo what Thau has done to his victims. So she imposed a nine-year sentence, but Thau will get time for credit uh, credit for time already served. A News reporter Stephen Andrew has the story from Vancouver. When Ian Thau fled to the U.S. in 2005 after stealing millions from his investors, this was his last public statement. It's been very difficult on my, myself and my family. I believe that the, the news media have been uh, but unfair in the reporting, and it's clearly, it's in, from my perspective, it's been unbalanced. Well, it's about to get a lot tougher for Ian Thau. A provincial judge sentenced the former investment advisor to nine years in prison. A lot of lives are ruined because of the money that Yen Thao took away from these victims. Their life savings completely gone. Thao pleaded guilty to 20 counts of fraud on Monday in a Vancouver court. In exchange, defense and Crown lawyers agreed to recommend a sentence of seven years. But the judge disagreed, as some of the crimes occurred after the maximum sentence for fraud was raised to 14 years. The judge ruled nine years is more appropriate, saying his crimes showed that Thao lacked a conscience. The Crown analyzed the circumstances of the case. The Crown felt constrained by the previous case law and the fact that uh, for a period of time during uh, the commission of the offenses, a lower sentence, uh, lower maximum sentence was in place. And uh, we concluded that uh, the appropriate range was what we put before the court. Justice Jocelyn Palmer said that Ian Thau was clearly motivated by greed to create a lavish lifestyle for himself. She added that even though Thau knew that his victims were in court watching the sentencing, he refused to make a statement. That action, she concluded, showed he had no remorse. Uh, do you think it was a mistake for him not to make a statement on Monday? Uh, like I said before, Mr. Thau came to court. He pled guilty at the first available opportunity to him. He acknowledged his wrong to the victims, and he is, uh, has made steps towards rehabilitation, and he will now go serve uh, his time, and he was prepared to do that. Thau's sentence also includes an order to provide a DNA sample. Uh, I think it's a sentence that holds that offender accountable, particularly a man like Thau. So, no, I, I think it's a very good sentence. He also receives two years credit off his sentence for the past year that he has spent in jail at the North Fraser Pretrial Center. In Vancouver, Stephen Andrew, A News.